This may not be the swankiest ride to dinner. Okay, if you'll just go ahead. And... But it is one of the most unforgettable. It's dark in the elevator. It is a double-decker elevator, and we can put um, about 15 people on each level. And in 90 seconds, they drop 64 stories underground, a shaft as deep as the St. Louis Arch is tall. I'm not a big fan of elevators, but that wasn't a bad ride. <laughs> they mine at different depths. Here, of course, it's 650 feet. This salt vein transports you to a world few have ever seen, conjuring up the idea for a murderous dinner theater. What a better place to, to think about doing something like this than some place that already has mystery, mystery and intrigue to it. Yeah, it's kind of dark and shadowy. Does that add to it? It does. It does. So next week, this cavernous space will transform. Right out here in this middle area, we'll have all of our seats. Fine dining, like the dinner theaters held last January and April. Professional actors use Kansas places and faces to weave a murder mystery that recruits guests to be in the play. It's another draw for an already unique attraction. It's different. I mean, it's not very often you get to get this far below the ground and, and see what they've done. In fact, he came all the way from Tulsa with a busload of tourists, helping push attendance over 15,000 since the Salt Mine Museum opened in May. Summer is certainly a great time, you know, for people to travel, and we also have a lot of ball teams in town and groups coming into the fairgrounds, and, and so that's really helped our attendance. And the museum is still adding on to its visitor center above ground and the exhibits below. Together, they tell the history of salt mining in Hutchinson and how the mines are also used to store documents and original films like Gone with the Wind, treasures once hidden from view now open to anyone willing to dig a little deeper for adventure.